A Washington-based financial watchdog sees the country's finances as heading in the right direction, and a recent assessment reflects it. But the International Monetary Fund has also determined that the government's target of reducing the deficit to 0.9% during the current 2023-2024 fiscal period, while laudable, is pretty ambitious, begging the need then for more policy measures to achieve its target. And here's why. According to the IMF, based on the current policies, the fiscal deficit is expected to be 2.6% of GDP in 2023-2024, considerably larger than what was expected. Well, in the face of the IMF's doubt, Economic Affairs Minister the Honorable Michael Alkitas holds firm to optimism. Uh, we have met since coming to office, we have met and or exceeded every single uh, projection uh, in terms of the deficit that we did. As a matter of fact, um, the numbers will come out shortly to show that uh, last year, at the conclusion of the last uh, fiscal year, we have once again exceeded our uh, deficit targets. So we are confident that uh, with the continued growth of the economy, the continued efforts that we make to improve our tax collection, uh, particularly in areas like um, foreign-owned uh, real property, some very aggressive steps that we're taking in that area that are bearing fruit, that we will meet our, our deficit uh, targets. Beyond reducing the fiscal deficit, though, the IMF contends that a set of comprehensive tax reforms would be valuable to the Bahamas raising revenues and improving progressivity. It points particularly to implementing a corporate tax accompanied by a personal income tax on the highest earners. Governments have long stenched on both. Overall, though, Alkidas sees the concluding statement as largely positive for the Bahamas, considering its revision of our growth projection for 2024 from 1.8 up to 2.3 percent. IMF mission.